The Silverstone Classic is one of the largest and most popular historic racing events on the global calendar. And this year there was a record-breaking grid on display at the home of the British Grand Prix. It's lovely to come back here and have so many people keen on, on these historic cars because we did have an enormous amount of fun. We didn't get paid much, but it was still a great sport to be in. It's one of the biggest race meetings they have outside of the Grand Prix. And it's just where lo loads and loads of historic vehicles come out of their uh, workshops and they put through their paces out on the racetrack. Silverstone Classic is brilliant. I've been here a couple of times as a spectator and it's, it's very rare that you get to see so many classic cars, sometimes very priceless, driven hard, raced hard. Yeah, it, it's great to be a part of. I can tell you, every car here is now is better than it was when it was new, that's for sure. And I've driven most of these cars. The exquisite collection of legendary racing cars had a value of over 500 million pounds, but that didn't dampen the racing spirit to push the cars to the limits. The guys aren't out there just playing around, they're trying as hard as, as I did in my day or anybody else. So I think they're going to see some good racing. They're sort of see quite a few shunts, I think. The trouble is that people seem to think because these cars are old, maybe they can't bite them. You know, they're, they're potentially very fast. I've driven a, a couple of historic cars, and when you when you start looking at it and thinking about it, you think, well, I won't quite go to the limit. You put the race helmet on, bang, and off you go. And uh, yeah, those sort of worries go to the back of your mind. The racer comes out in you, and you know, these things should be raced. Special tribute this year was paid to Australian F1 legend Jack Brabham with a memorial race in his honour. The three-time world champion is still the only man in history to win the title in a car of his own design. His son David, an accomplished driver himself, led the parade lap alongside one of Formula One's best love stars. Going out on the parade was kind of a special one because we had something like nearly like 80 Grand Prix cars in the parade, which I think is the most we've ever seen at a racetrack. And to be able to lead that with Sterling Moss, just having him next to me was pretty cool, actually. And I, I had my camera and I, my little phone on, taking pictures and selfies. Jack and I had many, many races, you know, fighting against each other. But Jack was a tough competitor, I'll tell you. And uh, being out there with his son, I think it's pretty nice. It really is quite neat. Another highlight of the weekend was seeing Porsche Works driver Brendan Hartley in action. The LMP1 pilot was here to race the 1998 Porsche 911 GT1 and was left in no doubt of the value of the Le Mans winner by his race engineer, Klaus Bischoff. I get to have a play in the GT1 from, from 98, which is a pretty iconic car, Le Mans winning, which I, I keep getting reminded about, by the way. Every time I go out, they say, this is from the museum, it was a Le Mans winner, take it, take it easy. I'm very lucky to be let loose with some, some awesome toys like that. Alongside all the track action, Mustang were celebrating their 50th anniversary, while Maserati were there to toast 100 years on the track. In all the paddocks, you've got nearly every race car that ever existed. You know, there's Brabham's, there's Coopers, there's Lotuses, there's Maseratis, there's Mercedes, there's, there's just all these old cars. If you go into the infield, you'll go through a row of Ferraris or Porsches or BMWs or whatever, and you know, they've all got their owners' clubs that come here, and it's a, it's a big, big event, but it's a big family event too. For some, the weekend recalled memories of races from a glorious career. For others, the chance to glimpse into the past. 90,000 fans were in attendance at Silverstone, testament that these classic machines still capture the imagination of fans and drivers alike. The majority of the cars here were, were built and raced before I was born, and it gives me a real insight to where racing's come from, and you know, just going back to the roots of where motorsport started, which I think is very, very important. Kids come along and they can jump in the cars, they can talk to the mechanics and all this. It's a little wonderful day out and it does the history of Formula One and sports car racing a lot of good, I think.